guys welcome back to my channel so it is time for me to go ahead and share with you guys my October boxy charm I'm a little bit excited about this one as you can see I have kind of a plain face right now I did go ahead and throw on a base and do my eyebrows because I want to use whatever's in this box whatever I can use on my face so that's what I'm gonna do right now in this video open up my box share it with you guys and then throw some makeup on my face <laughs> so hopefully you will enjoy watching me do that now just in case you're unaware boxycharm is a monthly makeup subscription box that I get delivered to my home monthly for $21 a month and I usually get about four to five full-size makeup items in my box and I'm rarely disappointed in my boxycharm box so I'm hoping that it's going to be great, okay? I've seen some spoilers, but I was getting a little confused because I saw some for October and I saw some for November. I think for November, like they showed the whole box or something, I don't know. So I don't quite remember exactly what I'm gonna get. But let's just go ahead and jump right in. This is what the BoxyCharm box looks like every month. Now, I didn't get a tracking for my box and I know some people like to know the weight on your box and dimensions and all that stuff for shipment so they can kind of gauge whether or not they're going to get the same box. I didn't get a tracking for my box. It just showed up. So I apologize for that. Let's go ahead and take a look at this month's card. Now it says here, Alter Ego. I guess that is the theme this month. Alter Ego. Very cool. And let me see. Yeah. It lists all the products here on this little card. Ooh, okay, so I have variation three. A lot of times I've gotten variation two for my box, but this one says variation three. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what I have so I can start slapping it on my face, okay? <laughs> so I'm just gonna dig in here and start pulling stuff out. Okay, this first item here, now y'all know. Okay, your girl can't see. <laughs> <laughs> it says Ahava Active Dead Sea Minerals Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream. Very cool. So I got a nice little tube of a hand cream here. Let me see if I can show you a little closer. So this is what it looks like. And let's see what it says here. It says Ahava Mineral Hand Cream. Treat your hands to a light but luxurious rich hand cream that helps keep skin and cuticles healthy and protected from the elements formulated for daily use. This hand cream is made with nutrient rich dead sea water. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about dead sea water, but okay. And smoothing witch hazel to elevate and lock in skin's natural moisture. Retails for $10. Okay, let me see here. Which has a nice soft scent to it. Nothing too strong. That's what it looks like, just a regular hand cream. Oh, it's nice and thick. Nice and thick, very moisturizing. So I like it a lot. Not, oh, it actually smells really, really good. It's not too, too strong for me. If you don't really like scents at all, you might not like this because it does have a, a slight perfumey smell to it, but not strong at all. So that is item one. Next, oh, I had spillage, you guys. <laughs> and it looks like a cream so I don't think it was the lotion let me go ahead and pull this other item out and see if this is what it was because it could have been the lotion but because there sure enough wasn't a safety seal on it I don't know if you can see that on there on this you see that cream that's on there it probably is from the lotion because this doesn't look opened at all hmm Y'all, I don't know. Okay, so let's just go ahead and move on, even though I have a little bit of a mess in my box. Okay, so this is Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Strength Moisture Leave-In Mask. So this sounds like a hair product. Let's see, this super moisturizing and strengthening leave-in conditioner provides repair benefits and beyond. It's unique formulation of micro-encapsulated argon oil, an optimal blend of transformative nutrients that include B vitamins, coconut oil, ad, algae extract, <laughs> and biotin helps to promote healthier hair that will 
leave you feeling your very best. Okay, so this is pretty cool. It's a nice strength, moisture, and leave-in mask repair for your hair. Retails for $16. Let me see if I can smell this. It smells nice. No, nothing strong or harsh or anything like that. Very, very mild scent. So that's pretty cool. Try that out. Okay, so let me go ahead and clean off some of these boxes that have this stuff all over it. Okay, so next I have here from Kat Von D. It's an everlasting liquid lipstick. And let's see, what color is this? I have the color Bow and Arrow. So it looks like it's probably a bit of a warm nude. Yeah, so it's a nice nude shade. Not too bad, I'll go ahead and swatch that. Now it says here, Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. Enjoy a smooth, creamy, lightweight liquid lipstick that stays on all day long. With high, That's highly pigmented, vegan and cruelty free. Formula coats your lips in just one swipe delivering the color you want and need. It's infused with vitamin E and sunflower seed oil, giving your lips the moisturizing comfort that they deserve. And this retails for $20. So let me just go ahead and swatch this right quick so you can see what this looks like on my skin tone. So yeah, it's definitely a very light nude shade on my skin tone, as you can see. Very, very light. Definitely need a lip liner with this. <laughs> <laughs> so that is that okay nice little box got some more spillage in here on, <laughs> on this box so let me clean this off uh, that's the first time I've ever had anything pop open or spill or leak in my box so I guess it's not too bad because I've had them for over a year okay so this is it cosmetics superhero elastic stretch volumizing mascara in this big box here so let me go ahead and take a look and this is super black <laughs> super black oh this thing is huge <laughs> this thing is very very big do you guys see that this is huge so let's go ahead and take a look it says here it cosmetics superhero elastic stretch volumizing mascara wrap your lashes in lengthening volume boosting and ultra conditioning formula the elastic stretch technology and the ultra black tint make for the thickest and most defined lashes ever this retails for 24 dollars now i'm really excited about this just because of the fact that I've kind of been wanting a new mascara to try out. I've been using the same mascaras for quite a while now and I've been wanting a new one to try. So this is what the wand looks like. If you can see that, Let's see if I'll put it in front of me. That's what the wand looks like. So it's fairly thin and long. So I am going to definitely try this out today. Okay, and last in my little messy box here, I have a palette. And y'all know how I feel about palettes, okay? <laughs> so, I'm definitely excited about a new palette. So, this is the Pure Midnight Masquerade palette. As you can see, very pretty on the packaging here. Very pretty. Okay, so, for this palette, let me go ahead and open this puppy up. Okay, and so, this is what the back of the box looks like, just in case you care. This is what the back of the box looks like. So it shows the shades on here. It says that it is cruelty free, gluten free, vegan friendly, and please recycle. <laughs> so um, sounds like a pretty darn good palette. And of course, you know, Pure is definitely cruelty free and whatnot. So Midnight Masquerade. Let me go ahead and open this up. Oh, very cool. So it opens up like a book. Uh-oh, my blue got a little dinged up, as you can see. And there is a mirror in there. Okay, very pretty. Let me go ahead and take this plastic off. Uh, well, it didn't completely break, so I'm happy about that. But it did get a, a little dinged up. So I'm going to take all of the plastic off since I'm going to use it. Okay, you guys, so let me go ahead and read you some information on this palette here. It says Pure the Complexion Authority Midnight Masquerade Palette. This 10-piece face palette will take any look from natural and innocent to sultry and mysterious. This limited edition palette 
is arranged with highly pigmented and buildable shades that blend effortless effortlessly into the face and eyelid for a look you'll totally adore. Making a bold statement has never been easier with four shimmery face powders and six buttery eyeshadows that complement all skin tones and eye colors. So yeah, that's a mouthful right there. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and do some quick swatches. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Oh, I forgot I had that lipstick on my hand, you guys. Oh, those are gorgeous. Can you guys see that? Yeah, those are pretty. Ooh, okay. Okay. Okay, all of these shades are gorgeous, but these are all the shades in this palette. Gorgeous, so it looks like the only matte shade is that dark brown in the middle. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna have to get real creative with the eye look right now, you guys. But yeah, I only have one matte and it's a dark brown. So we about to work it out though, okay? So now I'm just gonna go ahead and clean these swatches off. I'll come back and we'll jump into a look. Let me pull you guys in a little bit. All right, that's good enough. <laughs> that's good enough. Okay, so I'm just going to gently tap in here because I don't want it to get too dark and too crazy too quickly. I didn't even prep my lid. Don't want to prep my lid. I'm not even gonna prep my lid, y'all. I'm ready to get going. <laughs> okay. See how this puppy works with no primer, okay? Hmm. I actually like that color. It's a nice little soft crease color. It's nice and deep. And it's blending out nicely. Get a little bit of light. Okay, it's a little better. Yeah, it's actually blending out nicely. I'm gonna try and keep it simple, y'all, because I don't want this video to be too, too long. What do we think? I like it. It's actually like the perfect crease color for me. I like it a lot. Very nice. Mm. I don't know you guys I love that color okay I'm kind of feeling it I like it y'all like it I like it okay so I'm not gonna do a cut crease just to keep it short and sweet and simple I'm just gonna try out some of these shimmer shadows I'm going to I want to mix the blue and the green so I'm gonna take this green here and I'm just going to put some of that on my inner liner lid <laughs> liner lid inner lid and I think I'm gonna spray, I'm going to spray my brush as well. So I'm just putting some of that green on there and I'm going to go ahead and spray it with a little rose water just to see how it performs. Hmm. Okay, so it's pretty. It's not like kapow in your face color but it's pretty and when I'm putting it on it actually looks gold more so than green I guess it has a little hint of green but it really has a gold look to it you guys try to get as get the pigment as intense as I can here Okay, so now that I have that placed on the inner portion, I'm going to go into the blue. 
I'm going to take the blue and I'm going to do the same thing. Just take some of the shadow and then spray my brush a bit. And I'm going to put that on the outer portion of my lid. And just gently blend it in with that first shade. Ooh, mamacita, senorita, okay. I ain't mad at it. These shimmers are nice to me. They're very, very nice. The blue is really nicely pigmented. Well, so is the green gold also very nicely pigmented. Um, and they are going on effortlessly, really. I'm just adding a little bit more of that gold, blending it into that blue. Okay, do a little cleanup work. And I wanna go ahead and, I mean, they have this darker shade here. It does have a bit of shimmer in it. Mm, so I don't think, mm, do I wanna use that? Yeah, you know what, let me just go ahead. I wanna go into this darker shade here and see if I can use that to kind of smoke out my outer crease, even though it is a bit of a shimmer. So I'm just going into it dry. And I'm just going to tap it in my outer corner just a bit to see if I can deepen it up a little bit. Okay, so it's not bad. It's not like the shimmer is just like totally boom in your face. You can see a little shimmer, but it's definitely deepening the crease nicely or deepen in that outer corner. And I'm just going to go in back with that brown or the brush that I had the brown on and just kind of blend the edges out so it's not harsh. All in all, I like this palette. I think it's a very nice palette. The shadows, I love them. I love how they apply, they're gorgeous. That one brown shade is perfect for my crease, so I'm not complaining about that. Let's go ahead and try, ooh, you know what? <laughs> I was like, ooh, let's go ahead and use this blush, but it has shimmer in it, so let me pump my brakes. Um, I'm not really a shimmer blush type of chick, but I do wanna go ahead and use, I think I'm gonna use a little bit of this kind of as a blush slash highlight. Let me see what that looks like on me and hopefully I don't grab too much. Can you guys see that? Oh, that's nice. I can see it. That's pretty. Kind of has like a gold. Ah, oh, I went into the wrong color, y'all. <laughs> Oh, that's all good. I'm mixing them. I was in here and now I'm in there. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, we're going to have it mixed then. Hopefully you can see that. I can see it, but I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see it. But yeah, that, ooh, hoo, 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 Lord have mercy. <laughs> I hope you can see that. Okay, so I'm just going into the lighter shade. I don't even remember. Did I go into the light shade the first time or was it that peachy shade? It might have been the peachy shade that I went into. Who knows? But I'm going into both of them right now, okay? I'm doing the lighter shade and then I'm doing the peachy shade on top. I'm sorry, my camera is like trying to autofocus. So. Oh yeah, that's pretty. That's gorgeous. Yeah, you can see that. You can see that <laughs> for sure. Oh, that's pretty. I like it. I need to pump my brakes. That's what I need to do. I'm doing way too much right now. I'm gonna be looking like the Tin Man in a minute. Little on my nose. Okay. Okay, you guys, so let me move on. So I'm not taking forever. I'm going to take my lip gloss off. And I'm also going to go into this Superhero Mascara from IT Cosmetics. And let me just check this out.
Hmm. Now, when I do my mascara, I like <laughs> a lot of mascara because I don't wear false lashes. So I do wear a lot of mascara just to pump up my natural lashes. And so this one, it seems to be about the right consistency. It has a nice thickness to it. Um, this wand is actually helping to separate my lashes as I add the mascara. So I do like that because I am one, like I said, that piles and piles it on <laughs> to get them as long and as thick as I possibly can. Mm. I can't say it's my new favorite. I'll use it a few more times, but I actually like it. I like the thickness of it and I like the wand. So first impression, I like it. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and added a little bit of the mascara and some black eyeliner to my lower lash line. And it's not too bad on the lower lashes also. Now just quickly, I'm going to use some of my ColourPop Ellery Lip Liner to line my lips before I try out the Kat Von D lipstick. And once again, I have the shade Bow and Arrow. So it's an okay shade. It's not my favorite nude color in a lipstick, I would say for sure. Definitely not my favorite. It would not be my first choice. It goes on comfortably. Just a smidge sticky, not anything uncomfortable or irritating. It's comfortable enough, but it's okay. <laughs> it's not my favorite, but it's okay. So anyway, you guys, I don't want to keep this video going on forever and forever. This is my BoxyCharm October face. I must say I am happy with all of the products that I got. I was kind of hoping that I would get that mask because y'all know I, I love me a good skincare face mask. Love me some masks, but I guess they saw fit to send me this <laughs> leave-in hair conditioner instead, but I'm not mad. You know, Briogeo is a great company. This Ahava hand lotion, I'm loving. This mascara, I'm going to be using this over the next month or so. I like it, y'all. I think it looks very nice. This lipstick, I mean, you know, I'll use it, I guess. <laughs> But this palette, this Midnight Masquerade palette from Pure, bomb, okay? It's bomb. I love it, I love it, I love it. So very happy with my box this month, you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching me go through it, try on some of this stuff, and show you how it works. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!